This is an eVTOL craft. It stands for electric vertical takeoff and landing. Basically, it's a flying car. But despite what Back to the Future told me, where we're going, we don't need roads. I'm yet to be flying around cities like Doc Brown or Marty McFly, but a string of startups like Joby, Archer and Lilium are all trying to change that. Their aim is to create a fleet of flying taxis that could zip over buildings, cut past traffic and slash travel times. Saving a billion people an hour every day. But if they're going to revolutionise how we get around, they're going to have to do it quietly. If they can't, then their businesses might not get off the ground. You see, we already have aircraft that zip over buildings and cut past traffic and slash travel times. They're called helicopters. The problem is that helicopters are loud. Like, really loud. And if they operated like taxis do, they'd create lots of noise complaints. So EV toll companies are trying to make their aircraft as quiet as possible. We still have a long and challenging journey ahead of us. To get a better idea of how they're sounding right now, some of them have turned to NASA. And NASA's role is really to understand how we can enable the safety, efficiency, and then the scalability of these operations. That research will inform the decisions that aviation regulators make around EV toll noise and could impact how our cities sound. So what does the future sound like? Let's find out. Okay, so before we get into what these startups are doing, I want to dive into why EV tolls need to be quiet. Because aviation noise pollution is more than just annoying. Some studies suggest that it can even be detrimental to health, potentially impacting everything from reading comprehension in children to cardiovascular health in adults. To mitigate this, the FAA has been monitoring the effects of noise pollution and has drawn up certification standards that aircraft have to meet. What's interesting is they're not just monitoring how loud an aircraft is, but they've also looked into how often somebody might be exposed to that noise and how annoyed they might become by it. That's important for these startups because while many EV toll craft have small distributed electric motors, making them much quieter than helicopters, the companies operating them plan on creating a fleet of sky taxis. This means regular flights in and out of built-up areas, which only works if the aircraft is really quiet. How quiet? Well, it gets complicated. Like, really complicated. But as a starting point, the industry tends to agree that these aircraft need to be under 65 decibels, which is about the same volume as a conversation. So to find out exactly how close they are to that target, eVTOL startup Joby is utilising NASA's mobile acoustics facility, which includes an array of more than 50 microphones. It has a set of these wireless acoustic measurement systems collecting uh, things that are in regards to the intensity of the sound, so the decibel level, along with the frequency of the sound. Joby is working in partnership with NASA and the FAA as part of NASA's Advanced Air Mobility Campaign, which will help inform the FAA's policies and regulations around EV tolls. And what we're attempting to do is work closely with industry such that we can collect that data and inform um, the, the policies as they need to evolve. Joby has been testing its four-passenger flying taxi, which it plans to have in operation by 2024. The company says they're using electric motors and six rotors instead of one to reduce noise levels. And right now, they say their craft is operating at around that 65 decibel mark at takeoff. But how loud an EV toll is may only be part of the challenge. Noise has an objective measurement as well as a subjective component. There's a whole host of research that goes into being able to characterise the noise and then being uh, able to utilise that. Joby says it's also working on ways to make its aircraft sound as pleasant as possible. Or as their CEO puts it. Our goal was to mimic the character of natural sounds like the wind or the ocean. What's more, the company says they're trying to make the aircraft sound imperceivable over the background noise of a city. That may be the only way they'll find success. After all, several studies around aircraft noise point to two key findings. Firstly, that people find aircraft sound more annoying than rail or road noise. And secondly, over time, we're getting more and more annoyed. So if the flying car revolution is finally going to take off, it's going to have to do so quickly and quietly. Hey, I could talk about EV tolls for days, and this video is really just the beginning. So if you're interested in the future of how we might be getting around, don't forget to subscribe. Catch you later.